Rigoberto Beltran was found lying in this van in the bushes off the dirt road. A crowd gathered at the scene of this latest cold-blooded murder, including the family of Beltran, which was absolutely shocked to get the terrible news this morning. Carlos Beltran had last spoken to his brother at around nine and says he was his usual good-natured happy self. The next time he saw his brother, it was at this spot after a friend called to tell him that the van had been spotted off the road and somebody had been killed. I, I rushed from my house and, uh, and checked and see if uh, the person told me that it was my brother and, uh, and he, he was the one that... Uh, All right, I know this is tough on you, but could you describe to us, I understand that he was shot one time. Did you see the body? Yeah, from uh, up to now, from a little bit far, I, uh, I uh, recognize the, the body of my brother. The body was actually discovered by a Coast Guard unit patrolling the lagoon. Their attention was drawn by a shirtless man who frantically called them to the shore and told them that he made the discovery when he went into the bushes to smoke weed. Police believe that it is likely Beltran was subdued and taken to that spot and killed. They say he was killed because his vehicle was needed for a robbery. But it is still early in the investigation and the pieces are still being put into place. The information we're receiving is the fact that the taxi would have been used to commit a robbery. Uh, we're investigating the information as to where the robbery would have been taken place. The investigation that we're carrying out will reveal what transpired between the time they went and got the, the cab to the point when they got at that location. But we know for sure that there was a boat that we have in our custody that was utilized in the suspect fleeing from that area. The taxi driver was bound uh, by his feet um, and we had recovered the boat used and we had recovered some apparel that was used by the suspect in the San Mateo area. At exactly two this afternoon, after the body had been in the van for four hours, scenes of crime personnel arrived and began the grisly work of processing the scene, including the blood splattered interior of the van. Beltran's family stood nearby waiting, waiting for some answers in what seems an absolutely senseless murder. Up to now, I, uh, uh, there is nothing I, that I will think that uh, I know he's a hard working person, just like myself, and uh, uh, we have a very close relation. and. Uh, if we have any little problem, we always communicate with each other, but up to now, he, he never uh, tell me anything, and uh, up to now, everybody's shocked that uh, we don't know exactly what happened. We have determined that there were three suspects involved in the uh, shooting. We have had, had captured one of the main suspects this morning who uh, resisted and tried to flee, and he was... Uh, uh, pepper sprayed by some officers. He's in our custody at this time and we're sorting, we're, we're, we're sorting to others. That main suspect, we were told unofficially, is a member of the campus family which is currently under intense police scrutiny on the island. Police actually have three persons detained, including the main suspect, and are looking for two others. They feel that in short order, they will have rounded up all who conspired to end the life of this humble, hard-working taxi man a father of two. Well, everybody sad and uh, so we was not ready for for this but I guess uh, there is no no option. We have to life continue and we have to look after the his kids, his family. At 315 today the van was driven back onto the road and the body was removed from the scene and placed in a boat which would transport it to the KHMH morgue. Mike Rodon for News 5.